Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. We are talking about level measurement and another method I want to present. So I want to present the so-called bubbling method. What is a bubbling method? Well, we have an open tank, usually open tank, because it's not very suitable for, for pressure tanks, why I will explain. And in this tank we insert a small, can, can be small, uh, little pipe tube yeah? and we are measuring the pressure here yeah? and we are applying air pressure with the help of a pressure reducing valve and a flow meter yeah? so we have here pressure reducer flow meter. This flow meter is only there to detect if there is already already flow. Uh, the pressure reducer is reducing the pressure in a matter uh, that here the pressure inside the tube is exactly compensated and suddenly there are tiny bubbles yeah, exiting the lower area of this. Okay, so it's it's open in at the bottom, yeah, and I just let in enough pressure that there is a little flow. This flow can be detected, and I know exactly the pressure which is needed to let the bubbles bubble out. Yeah? And because this pressure is reflecting the hydrostatic pressure of this height here. Out from the pressure needed to reach a certain airflow, I can calculate to this height. This is what I want to measure, right? I want to measure the level in this tank. And now I think it's obvious that uh, it's not very suitable for pressure tanks because then we would have here pressure and then we would have to apply more pressure uh, to compensate this because then we not only have the, the hydrostatic pressure but also the... It's the same issue like with the hydrostatic method. It's very close related to the hydrostatic method. However, yeah, it works a little bit different. Yeah? Bubbling method. Bubbly, 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 bubbly. <laughs> yeah. What is the benefit of this? Uh, the benefits, the benefits are, uh, it can uh, easily be installed. Yeah. Easy installing. And and also also for for <laughs> aggressive media. So if this is very aggressive, I can use this also. Huh? So there is no. It's just the rod. The rod I can or the the the, the, the tube, and uh, this I can make of some very strong material. If I measure, they have to measure the pressure here directly. Ah, I need the membranes inside. It's not that easy. So this is for aggressive media fluids. It this is suitable. Okay. Negative side. Not good for pressure tanks. Then we have constant, constant air loss. We have constant air loss, so we constantly wasting, need energy simply, not wasted because we measure something, but we need energy. Yeah? And also the uh, problem with a condensating, yeah? condensating problem with Condensating, freezing air 
in winter. Well, bubbling method. Huh? And like I said, very close related to the to the hydrostatic pressure method because actually it's measuring the same the same uh, way. Huh? And it depends a little bit on the density of this thing, yeah? which is not really depending on the density of the thing, but well, also on the density of the thing, if we, we want to measure the, the level, yeah? is the next method I want to present. This is the, this is the weighting method. Yeah? What is behind the weighting method? I will explain in the next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.